So I just want to give you a quick rundown of what it's going to look like the day of the car wash. On March 19th, from 10 to 3 o'clock, if you drive down 31, you'll actually see a chicken on the side of the road. And no, the chicken's not trying to cross the road. It's trying to get you into Vestavia Bowl parking lot. And it's going to have a group of people around them with signs that say, free car wash, absolutely free, free popcorn, free inflatables, everyone welcome. And there'll be signs all down 31 as well. There'll actually be four different stations of sign holders. You know, maybe you've seen the little Caesar guy waving his sign or dancing, and maybe you wanted to do that. Well, I've got good news. This is your chance. I can just see some of our church members, maybe like Dr. Chekwa and, and Brother Farrell. This is probably what they would look like holding a sign. Dr. Checkman's gonna be getting at it on the car wash. Uh, <laughs> and they'll actually go into two different car wash stations that we'll have there. And so once they park their cars, they'll be able to get out and go to the lemonade stand to enjoy some free lemonade or get some popcorn or take their kids to the inflatables. I believe most of you have seen the inflate, some of the inflatables that we're gonna have. They're gonna be lots of fun and they can play on those and enjoy those. And while they're doing that, we want to wash their cars and we don't want to just throw some soap and water and we, we definitely don't want the water hose to get away like it did for this guy. But when we're washing the cars, we really want to do the very best we can. Again, we're not just telling people that we love them, but we want to show them. So I know this is kind of weird, but imagine if it was Jesus' BMW or his four-wheel drive or his old clunker that pulled up. Wash that vehicle as you were doing it for Jesus, as you was doing it for the Lord. You know, in our day and age, we really don't wash feet a lot because people don't walk everywhere, uh, but we drive. And so it's kind of like washing their feet, washing their transportation, and we want to do it as unto the Lord, to the very best of our ability. So when we finish washing their cars, we're actually going to be giving them an air freshener. Now the really cool thing about this air freshener is going to be inviting them to Easter service on Sunday morning, March 27th here at the church. Now we're not trying to shove Jesus down their throat or shove church down their throat, but we do want to invite them. And we want to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit during this whole event. We don't want to be so task-driven, whether it's serving lemonade or watching kids or washing cars. Let's stay sensitive, let's be prayed up and ready to love on them. So after we finish washing the cars, we're just going to wash the outside. We're not actually going to wash the inside of the cars like this lady tried to do. They can actually pull over to a station that we're going to have a vacuum station with a bunch of different vacuums. It's kind of like Goo Goo Car Wash. We're not going to vacuum out their car for them, um, but we'll have trash cans there and vacuums available where they can vacuum out their car. So that's what the car wash is going to look like. Now we've had a ton of volunteers sign up, and so what we've done is we have signed you to a certain place to serve. Now you can look in the comment below and it'll have the description there. Also in the church foyer, <clears throat> we'll have where you signed up at, there'll be a, a piece of paper there that show which station you're assigned to that day. <clears throat> now these aren't written in stone, and if you would like, I say, uh, I really don't want to be a sign holder, but if you would like to maybe work the lemonade stand or be in a costume or whatnot, let me know. As most of you probably already know, we're having two waves of volunteers that day. First wave being from 10 to 12.30, the second from 12.30 to 3. Now some of you have volunteered all day and we're so grateful for that. Now, we're asking you to please arrive 15 minutes earlier, please arrive 15 minutes earlier to your location if possible. Now, if you're helping with childcare in the morning session here at the church, please be here at, by 920 because we want to be able to let the parents drop their kids off by 930 so they can be at the car wash in plenty of time. So if you're helping with childcare here at Liberty Church, please be here at 920 and you can start dropping your kids off at 930 if you're serving at the car wash. So when you arrive on location, if you'll find myself or my wife Felicia, we're going to be helping coordinate the event. We're going to help get you where you need to be. But also we're going to be giving you a t-shirt that says loving through serving. Now these t-shirts are yours to keep. If you could, to help offset the cost, give a $5 donation the next time you're at church. Um, you don't have to, it's not mandatory, but it's going to help offset the cost if you can throw an extra $5 in the offer plate as it goes by. So two more things we want to ask of you. 
First, if you could share the event the day before on social media, maybe the night before, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, let people know what's going to be happening. Secondly, if you could pray for this event. Pray, first of all, that weather would go good, but that, that God would open up doors for us just to show His love to people who are broken, people who need it. And that as those air fresheners are hanging in the mirrors of those people's cars, that something would compel them in the Spirit to come and to show up that they could find the hope that we have found in Christ. Guys, we're so thankful for you. So thankful for your willingness to serve. And we are believing God for some truly incredible things. So help us share the news. Come excited. Come ready to serve. And let's pray for this event that God will do some really incredible things in and through us. I thank you guys so much. We love you. Looking forward to great things. See you.